Welcome back, beautiful nesters. I hope you all are blessed and doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome to the nest. We are happy to have you here. I am Sandria. I am the mommy behind A Beautiful Nest. And I would love to have you as a subscriber. So go ahead and click the subscribe button right below and make sure you click on the notification bell so you don't miss another video. You could go ahead and do it. You're gonna love the channel. I promise you, I guarantee so in today's video, I'm really excited to be collaborating and teaming up with the DIY mommy over on her channel where she has a DIY and fall decor challenge and I wanted to participate. This will be my first time doing a collaboration like this on YouTube and I'm really excited about it. So you can enjoy our video as well as other YouTubers videos and I'll leave a link for that in the description box below. So just binge watch and enjoy and have a good time. If you found our channel from that link as well, I'm so happy to have you here. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a patio refresh where I just kind of refresh the patio area here for fall and I really enjoy hanging out out here with my family and yeah so let's go ahead and jump into the video so here I have my deck chairs that I just refurbished um, a few days ago and I have a video for that and I'll leave it in the i card above and I um, actually painted these chairs black to go with my black and white theme that I have on my deck here so I wanted to start with a clean palette I have absolutely nothing out here just my deck plants and everything that I'll be pulling from so I'm just gonna move things out of the way and pull in this really beautiful rug that um, I really like the pattern on the rug and the color and here I have some pillows that I was able to grab up at the end of the season and I like that they're reversible and I really like this type of print on the front it's really really nice I like it I have some plants on my deck that I'm going to incorporate into this refresh so I'll be pulling in my coleus and um, some different topiaries and some aloe and that's just going to give the area more warmth and it's also going to fill the spaces that are around the chairs. What I love about adding plants to your decor and um, it just adds a lot of warmth and a lot of color. Now, I happen to have a lot of plants because I grow a lot of plants, but if you don't have a lot of living plants, you can incorporate artificial flowers and they will be just as beautiful. So here in my cut flower garden, I'm going to harvest some of my fresh flowers here for a arrangement that I'm going to place on the coffee table. This is a coxcomb flower and I really like its texture and I like its bulkiness. I have some zinnias here and they have different specks of color in them. And I grew flowers based on the color theme I wanted for the season. So I wanted to concentrate on more burgundies, more lavenders, purples and whites, splashes of yellow because it is a really happy sunny garden. So I did want to grab up some really bright, pretty pops of color in that bouquet as well. And here I have my cosmos and I grew several varieties of cosmos and these are the lavender Cosmos. And for my foliage, I'm going to use my burgundy, my red burgundy okra leaf. I did another flower bouquet where I used my okra leaf and they held up for a week and a half in the bouquet and I was amazed. So I'm going to do it again. And here I have a squash and I'm just going to take out the seeds. And what I really like about this squash is that it can hold water for a very long time. Um, it won't spoil. It'll take about two weeks before the actual pumpkin starts breaking down. So I'm just going to 
go ahead and take my flowers out of the water and just start arranging. I like to start with my focal piece first and I, that kind of gives me a base of what to, how to kind of frame my flower arrangement. I'm not a professional florist by any means, but this is how I get started. I'm using a flower foam on the inside of this glass. The initial thought behind this was that I was going to use the, the cup to hold the water, but after thinking about it a little bit further, I think I'm going to take it out because this, the pumpkin can hold water, like I said, for about two weeks without it decaying. So just start building on your arrangement and you have some filler flowers. I have several types of filler flowers, zinnias, I have asters, and I have some coxcomb and different varieties of flowers for my fillers. I like flowers that are going to give the bouquet a lot of height, so I make sure I cut my flowers with a long stem and then I cut them down as I need to. Absolutely nothing wrong with the traditional colors of the season of fall, but I do love to give a different feel of the season by introducing different color varieties because we do have other colors that are introduced into fall and they bring just as much warmth to the season. So I did opt to take the bouquet out of the glass and I'm just going to go ahead and fill the pumpkin with the flower foam. And since I started arranging already with the flowers in the foam, they're already still in there. So I'm just gonna place them straight into the pumpkin. And then I'm gonna fill the pumpkin with water. There you have it. Our bouquet, our centerpiece for our coffee table is all done. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Oh my God, it gives so much warmth to the space, so much color and so much drama. You can even bring this bouquet inside, put it on the kitchen table, the coffee table. It can just be moved around as you need it. And once it's done, you can remove it and you can start a fresh one. To continue on with decorating the space, I'm going to start adding elements to the table. And here I have my glass pumpkin that I absolutely love. I love that it's silver and I love that it has that beautiful shimmer to the space. I'm going to add some candles now and this happens to be a candle that will ward off all those pesky bugs while you're sitting outside. And then just small touches of a white pumpkin on the side table there. And then I have a farmhouse style vintage lantern that I absolutely love. It brings a lot of charm to the coffee table. I found this sign at the Target dollar spot for about $3 and I'm going to just stick it underneath this flower stand, the pot here, and that's just going to add a little bit more charm to the space. Sitting on my coffee table, I have to put my favorite seed catalogs on the coffee table. Love, love, love these seed suppliers. a little twinkle of light um, under the umbrella just to add some ambiance to the space as well. And later 
wrong, my son decided to join me. So on a cool, cool night, just cuddling up and having a blanket out there while you're relaxing and having a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and enjoying fall. Well, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed the refresh, the patio refresh. Make sure you like this video if you like it, and I hope you do. Subscribe if you're new, and share this video if you want to. And guess what? We'll see you all on the next video. Bye.